Ho ho, the pack is back. The pack is back. For video 78, everybody. Say, uh, oh, let's click and be ready. And how about this from the last video? Uh, the word starting with T that means uh, an impassioned speech. Yeah. A tirade, yes. The angry senator let out a tirade about the violence in our big cities. A tirade. And how about this? The long sled. You know, you can get five or six people. Oh, and it, oh, Marla, yes, the long sled for sliding in the snow. Starts with a T, you're right. Toboggan. Oh, he put out a tirade about the dangers of a toboggan. Well, how about this, everybody? Asa and Julia will rub each other's backs after their strenuous swim in the ocean. Oh, the each other's Yes, then, okay, they each have one. So there we do go with singular. And that apostrophe moves inside the S. Asa and Julia will rub each other's back after their strenuous swim in the ocean. Yes, strenuous, demanding, physically demanding, strenuous. Outdoor religious adoration seems to be declining across the globe. Uh, well, across the globe, Miriam, worldwide, yes, all across the globe, worldwide, worship up above there, yes, adoration, worship. Outdoor religious worship seems to be declining worldwide. I should have had on a black tuxedo for such at an extremely high level event. Ooh, that nice tuxedos, okay? Yeah, these guys look sharp. Yeah, oh, worn is Head on, yes, in regard to clothes, head on clothes, worn clothes, world class, right, church? No. I should have worn a black tuxedo, tuxedo, <laughs> a black tuxedo for such a world class event. Tuxedo. I should have worn a black tuxedo for such a world-class event. I go ballroom dancing more than Mariana, but I have less friends than she does. Oh, 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 it's Randy swinging into action when he sees the word less. He tests out fewer. He says, have fewer friends than she does? It works. So he does it. Yeah, he puts in fewer in place of less. I go ballroom dancing more than Mariana, but I have fewer friends than she does. Fewer friends than she does. It's scary to think the most awful hurricane crises are getting more awful. Ooh, there's crises, Marla. Yeah, nice. Right, she says, the plural of crisis. Yeah, crisis, crises. Yeah, not crises, crises. But how about these new words here? Most awful. Worst, yeah, 
and then more awful, worse. Yeah, those levels from the word bad. Bad, worse, worst. There you go. It's scary to think the worst hurricane crises are getting worse. Ooh, look at the picture of this hurricane down there in the Gulf, you know, just to the west of Florida. Ooh. Our pastor composed a done-with-too-many-words sermon about temptations at nightclubs. The pastor, the head of the local church, yeah, he wrote a wordy, yes, done with too many words. Oh, Asa, Asa calls out a fancier word for wordy. Verbose. Yeah, the sermon was verbose. V-E-R-B-O-S-E. -E. Yeah, we won't take it, Asa, but it's impressive that you know that. Our pastor, here you go, wrote a wordy sermon about temptations at nightclubs. Why do cardinals stay in Minnesota for the winter? Oh, there it is. That beautiful red cardinal again. I can't understand why those birds don't migrate. Yeah, migrate. Head to a warmer climate. He is a great public speaker. Oh, he can produce wonderful speeches. Ah, Marcelo. Yes, he has a silver tongue. Yeah, Barack Obama, he has a silver tongue. He can speak so well. Marianne is studying, but English isn't as easy for her as it is for we Americans. Uh-oh, that's the we us problem. Yeah, we Americans or us Americans, George? He says, well, test it without Americans. All right, I will, George. As it is for we as it is for we. Oh, for her, as it is for we. No, oh, for us. So, us Americans. George's testing device works like a charm. Mariana's studying, but English isn't as easy for her as it is for us Americans. Wanda wasn't deserving of wearing a sweater or a scarf made by weaving by Wendy. Oh, the W's, Miriam. Yeah, consonants with the W's. The tongue twister. Oh, deserving, worthy, yes, worthy, and woven. Wanda wasn't worthy of wearing a sweater or a scarf woven by Wendy. Worthy, woven. Marla made by weaving scarves for the man I argued forcefully with. Oh, made by weaving. Marla made by weaving. Oh, yeah. Wove. Yeah. Passed for weave. Yeah. Today I weave. Yesterday I wove, George. Yeah. Now I have woven. Yes. Uh, scarves for the man I wrangled with. George, excellent. Marla wove scarves 
for the man I wrangled with. Yeah, Marla wanted to make peace. So she wove some scarves for the guy that her husband wrangled with. Oh, and Marla, right back to you. Here's the reason. Well, get rid of the reason was. Simplify the sentence. The crew spread the tarp because the storm had started. Yep. Well, there they are, the baseball crew, Marla, at the stadium, spreading the tarp. Now, we don't want the reason was, okay? We get rid of those unnecessary words. We shouldn't give general pardon to the thugs that started the absence of government. Yeah, they started a riot and, boy, all of a sudden, we had no government. There was anarchy, chaos, okay? Bedlam. We shouldn't give amnesty to those thugs, right? We shouldn't give amnesty to the thugs that started the anarchy. Amnesty, anarchy. The average microorganism is a shapeless blob under a microscope. Oh, well, there, right, Miriam? That's right, you know your biology. Yeah, amoeba, there it is on the left under the microscope. Yeah, the amoeba, it is amorphous. It's an amorphous blob under a microscope. The average amoeba is an amorphous blob under a microscope. Julia, here you go. Does Julia have her horses pull a sleigh through the snow? Oh, oh, Julia says she has only one horse. Well, a smaller sleigh then, Julia. Okay, yeah, try it. That's great. Great winter fun. Put out some money. Come on, spend a little dough. Uh, oh, and here dough is in the idiom. Marcelo, yes, fork out some dough. Come on, don't be a tightwad, you cheapskate, penny pincher, Scrooge. Fork out some dough. Two weeks ago, Marla started a sweater, but next week she switched it to an apron. She switched it to an apron. Yes, she did. Switched it to an apron. Oh, oh, it's the time thing here. Mariana. Yeah, two weeks ago. And then, well, we want the week right after two weeks ago. So the, right, the next week. Two weeks ago, Marla started a sweater, but the next week she switched it to an apron. Scientists love to study carefully the physical structure of dinosaurs. And it's hard to believe, isn't it, everybody? That creatures this big roamed the earth at one time? Wow. It almost seems like science fiction. Uh, study carefully, though, Miriam, is analyze, analyze the anatomy. Yes, the anatomy of dinosaurs, the physical structure. Scientists love to analyze the anatomy of dinosaurs. The owner of the Hillside Showplace dislikes 
things not in their proper historical period. Oh, oh, I like this picture on the right for anachronism, right, Miriam? Yeah, anachronism, a thing that's out of its proper historical period. There is Abraham Lincoln with a cell phone. Oh, we didn't have cell phones in the 1860s. Come on, that's an anachronism. Oh, and up above it, Randy, the amphitheater, right? Amphitheater. The owner of the amphitheater dislikes anachronisms. So I'd be ready for the bus to the zoo. I got up early. Oh, ho, 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 it's George. Yeah, he loves to spot so and then insert that. Right. So that I'd be ready. Right, George? So that I'd be ready for the bus to the zoo. I got up early. Andrea made a close study of the lovemaking ways of Aztecs and Incas. Ah, those ancient peoples, yes. Andrea made an analysis, right, Marcelo? Analysis. Oh, and then Mariana. Amorous. Yeah, the amorous ways. Lovemaking. Andrea made an analysis of the amorous ways of Aztecs and Incas. Aztecs. Boy, just yesterday, I learned in a crossword puzzle that the Aztec people are the ones that started up popcorn. Yeah, we have popcorn from the Aztecs. Julia feared she was in the middle of a crowd about to run into wildness. Oh, the crowd is going crazy. Okay, uh, what's this called again? Body, passing a body along. I was going to say body surfing, but I'm not sure. Uh, this is a scene that I don't visit. Okay, yeah, the wild crowd passing a body along. Uh, Julia feared she was in the middle of a crowd about to run amok. Yes, that she was among a crowd. Julia feared she was among a crowd about to run amok. Uh, amongst is still out there, okay? It's getting old-fashioned, though. Amongst. Just say among. What's worse, intense cold or severe heat? Oh, there you see the vast snows of the Arctic and then, oh, the terrible heat of the desert. The skill to make conversation the ability to make talk, even if it's small talk. Oh, Marcel, the gift of gab, right? Yeah. Boy, that uncle of mine, yeah, when we'd play cards, he had the gift of gab, the skill to make conversation. Now that Church is done with the deck, Marla is thankful and grateful. <laughs> Marla, I'll bet you are. But what don't you like? Yes, the redundancy of thankful and grateful. That's redundant. Yeah, get rid of one or the other. Yeah, just say thankful. Now the church is done with the deck, Marla is thankful. 
Miriam has enough time to make louder her band's music. Enough time, yeah. She has ample time, right, Julia, ample. And then amplify starts with the same three letters. Yeah, the A-M-P. Ample, amplify. Miriam has ample time to amplify her band's music. Ample, amplify. I wasn't one bit entertained when Roger showed off his cut-off leg. Oh, I don't know why he did it, okay? He should have kept it covered, I think. I wasn't uh, amused at all or entertained. Yeah, with the, the amputated leg, mm, cut off leg, amputated. I wasn't one bit amused when Roger showed off his amputated leg. In the soft moonlight, Asa sung to Julia as she stood on the balcony. Yeah. Oh, Asa, wonderful. Yeah. As she stood on the balcony, you serenaded her. Yes. But what's the mistake here? Asa sung to Julia. Uh oh. Sang. Yes. Asked for sing. George, go ahead, do it. Today I sing, yesterday I sang, now I have sung. Right, Asa sang. The strange person overly involved in reading books lives in a far out area shack. Oh, there's a shack again. He's run down cabins that I can find pictures of. Wow. Oh, but look at that. All the books he has in his rundown shack. Yeah, he's a bookworm. Yeah, an eccentric bookworm. And he lives in the boondocks. The eccentric bookworm lives in a boondock shack. Eccentric bookworm boondocks. The dominating person selling illegal alcohol didn't sell us any alcohol. Oh, <laughs> uh, booze, right? Yeah, slang term for alcohol, liquor. Yeah, booze, Randy. How about up top? Bossy, dominating, overbearing, the bossy bootlegger. Right, Asa? Bootlegger. Here it is. The whole thing, Asa. The bossy bootlegger didn't sell us any booze. Yeah, bootlegger, a person selling illegal alcohol, especially back in the, the Prohibition era in the 20s and early 30s in America. Yeah, a bootlegger. Cross-country skiing is supposed to be a great exercise. Now, there's no ah uh in there. Cross-country skiing is supposed to be great exercise. Optional. You can have the uh, but it's not printed here, okay? Now, nice exercise going here. Cross-country skiing is supposed to be great exercise. Has no way to succeed. Now, can't succeed. Will not be able to accomplish that goal. Uh, Marcelo, yes, good one, good one. Hasn't a ghost of a chance. Now, his idea 
hasn't a ghost of a chance. Oh, and here you go, Marla, and everybody else out there. Uh, talk about a favorite song. Favorite song from, from America, and then maybe a favorite song from back home in your native country. Okay? Yeah, favorite song. As it turns out, Miriam doesn't agree with him regarding to fancy napkins. Oh, oh it's the regard thing. Yeah, and regarding, but then we have to not have to agree with him regarding fancy napkins. There you go. As it turns out, Miriam doesn't agree with him regarding fancy napkins regarding fancy napkins yeah you could say in regard to okay with regard to but then as regards with no to okay larissa made a mistake in her report on thrown weapons that can spin back to the user. <laughs> you maybe remember, I'm a doubter. I just, I can't picture the boomerang coming back. Yeah, if it doesn't hit something. Of course, if it hits something, then it won't come back. But I just, ah, I'm a doubter. Uh, Larissa made a boo-boo yeah, on her report. Yeah, the report that she made on boomerangs. Larissa made a boo-boo in her report on boomerangs. Giselle needs a push-up of pep to overcome her lack of interest. Yeah, she's, she's deep into boredom. Yeah. And Giselle, I don't blame you with these days that we have had of being cooped up inside with all the snow and cold wind and rain. Yeah, you need a boost of pep to overcome your boredom. Giselle needs a boost of pep to overcome her boredom. Boost boredom. The day preceding the wedding, Asa chose red wine, not champagne. Well, we don't mean continuing. The day continuing the wedding? No, coming before. And that's the word, Julia? Preceding, yes, with the E and then just one E between the C and the D proceeding the day preceding the wedding asa chose red wine not champagne the crude low-class guy pulled himself up by the loops on the backs of boots yeah giving us our idiom marcel to pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Yeah. Do it yourself. Be a self made person. Come on. Oh, crude, boorish. Right. Randy, boorish, and bloke, Randy. Right. There you go. The whole thing, Randy. The boorish bloke pulled himself up by the bootstraps. Boorish, bloke, bootstraps. Dolly will have as loaned support for her heavy woman's breast area. Oh, Miriam. Dolly will borrow, yes, borrow support for her bosom. Right. Dolly will borrow support for her heavy bosom. 
Does Ace's mother cover her plants with hay? Uh, does your mother, Asa, does she cover the plants with hay in the fall? You know, when winter's coming on? Oh, she does. Oh, okay, good, good. Must be a big job. I know she has a huge garden. A questionable idea. Uh, I have some doubts. Uh, that's... That doesn't seem to be a sure bet at all, I don't think. Oh, Marcelo, ho ho. A bee in her bonnet. I think it's a bee in her bonnet. She has a bee in her bonnet. A wild idea, I don't know. A bee in her bonnet. And that, yes, was the end of video 78. So let's swing in to sign off. Pack of helpers, pack, you are back. And we'll uh, take a little break and see you soon, okay? And then it will be video 79, okay? We'll see you then, everybody. Bye-bye.